Officials are now questioning whether child welfare services followed all procedures in this case. Experts also weigh in on what happens next. Christy Tomashiro continues our coverage. According to Honolulu Police, Thomas and Brandy Bloss became Gianna Bradley's legal guardians eight years ago. HPD is investigating when exactly the alleged abuse started. Lawmakers are now questioning whether child welfare services followed protocols. Child welfare service is supposed to do visits once a month for foster children. So the question is, was a visit done? I don't know. If so, were all the signs not noticed if she was emaciated? The Department of Human Services did not answer whether or not monthly checks were conducted to the Bloss's home, but they said in a statement the recent report of abuse or neglect in this home is the first of its kind received as to these caregivers. CWS has not had any reports of abuse or neglect in any investigation regarding this child since she was placed with this family until January 18th. Meanwhile, while the Department of Education confirms Bradley was taken out of school in October 2022 and placed in homeschool. HPD also believes the Blosses became legal guardians of the four-year-old adopted boy when he was 18 months old. The way that things work in our, in our nation, not just our state, it's a national policy, is after you adopt a foster child, you continue to get the monthly payments, but there's no supervision. And that's not something we can legally change in our state. Experts say many questions in child abuse cases are left unanswered due to the privacy in family court. That's where special masters come in to investigate what went wrong. Steve Lane served as the special master in several high-profile cases, including Isabella Kalua and Peter Boy Kama. Were there signs of abuse here that were missed that weren't followed up? Were there services available for this child that weren't available? Um, basically to try to find out who's responsible for the harm. Officials are asking the public to report child abuse in the community by calling police. Christy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.